In this chapter, we'll learn about REST and how Rails implements it. REST is a tricky subject in a beginner Ruby on Rails training course. On one hand, it requires learning some advanced web concepts and some new techniques at a time when you're still getting your footing in the basics of MVC and CRUD. But on the other hand, REST has become such a core part of developing in Rails that it would be irresponsible to set you off developing without knowing about it. So hang with me as we go into some deeper waters in this chapter. Absorb as much as you can from it. At the same time, it is perfectly acceptable to set REST aside while you're still learning the basics. You'll know what it is and that you need to eventually come back to it once you're more comfortable. Let's start by learning what REST is. REST is short for Representational State Transfer. REST is a concept more than any single part of our code. The concept is that in our application, the focus should not be on performing procedures, but on performing state transformations on resources. It's not easy to see how that's different from what we're already doing, in large part because Rails MVC pattern encourages us to break up our controllers by model, as we've been doing in this training. So each model is being treated as a resource. In fact, it may be helpful for you to think of model whenever I say resource. They're roughly equivalent. And I think that this is part of the reason for the popularity of REST in the Rails community, the fact that it fits easily with what we're already doing. However, we will need to make some changes to our code to incorporate the principles of REST. Mostly, we need to change how we talk to our resources in our application. Now, before we start doing that, you may be wondering, well, do I need to bother with this? Can't I just keep going with the way we've been doing things? Well, the default routes using hashes for controller, action, and ID works just fine. But REST is the Rails default, and Rails is optimized for it. You'll also find that most professional developers are using REST. So if you're going to be getting a job as a Rails developer, you're going to need to learn REST before you do that. Why do most professional Rails developers use REST? Well, because it gives us a couple of advantages. First, it gives your web applications an API for basically free. An API is an application interface, a way that other applications can talk to your application. Those might be iPhone applications or Android applications that you want to query your application for data. If we follow the REST pattern, then by doing very little work, we're going to be able to respond to those requests, whether they be requests for HTML, JSON, or XML. REST also provides us a set of conventions. If we follow those, then we end up with a consistent structure and therefore simplicity in our application. Everything conforms to the same structure. It's easy to understand what different parts of the application are doing because they all follow a set pattern. And REST also improves our application security. To start using REST, there are four changes that we're going to need to make to our way of thinking and to our code. The first is that we'll need to organize our code into resources. We've already been doing that, and Rails encourages one controller for each model. Number two, we'll need to learn some new HTTP verbs for working with resources and consider which of our CRUD actions are suited for each one of those. Then we'll need to map a new URL syntax to our controller actions. That's going to mean changing our Rails routes. So we'll have a new URL structure, and it'll get routed through different routes to our controller actions. And then we're going to need to modify our existing links and forms to use that new URL syntax. And we'll learn about the RESTful route helpers that Rails offers us to make that easy. We can pretty much skip over number one, because we've talked about code organization already, and our code in our application is well organized. But we'll discuss the other changes over the course of the next few movies.